Welcome to the study. This is Professor Hemlock. Today I am going to go over the Arcane Mage single target rotation. This is the updated version. So I have done way too much testing on this. I have tested in Mythic Plus. I've tested in Raid. I have countless hours spent hitting this dang target dummy. Uh, it's basically my best friend at this point. Uh, <laughs> so I want to kind of break down an updated version. So in my last video, uh, this was way back when the uh, expansion was very early, I believe the traditional meta was to drop rune, just spam your blast, get your mana down to around, you know, 15 to 30%, then dump your charges, you have a bunch of clear cast procs built up, you go into a touch of the magi, presence of mind, and AP go. Now, I, I do, after a lot of testing, again, as I've said, not think that is the way anymore. Uh, uh, it, you definitely actually are going to dump all of your cooldowns in the very open and then go as hard as you can and use your clear cast procs naturally. It is simply more DPS. I have tested, again, both ways so many times. So what I have here, kind of want to break this down a little bit better. I have everything macroed into my AP. So when I cast Arcane Power, it also uses my racial ability and it also uses my on-use trinket. If you do not have uh, an on-use trinket that grants intellect or primary stat, essentially, you absolutely need one. This is going to make you deal in, in, in just so much more damage on your AP. You absolutely need to, okay? So since I'm an orc, I do truly have a two minute cooldown on my arcane power. So this does uh, mess up my rotation by about 15 seconds. You'll kind of see here how that occurs, right? So essentially the hard open strategy uh, to maximize your single target DPS is going to be touch of the Magi, presence of mind. I'm using my Mac road arcane power, and then I'm just going to blast, 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 blast. I'm weaving in clear cast procs, and I'm gonna keep blasting until I am absolutely out of arcane power. Once my arcane power is done, I'm then going to drop a rune and I'm going to drain my mana. I'm just going to wipe that thing out. Then I'm going to go into an orb, evocate, shifting power, orb, blast, and then I'm going to wait for my rune to come back up. When my rune comes back up, touch of the magi will be back up. I'll be at full mana. I'll drop a rune, touch of the magi, palm, blast, 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 use any clear casting procs I have. At that time, I'm going to funnel in my secondary on-use trinket. If you do have a secondary on-use trinket, you'll be wanting to use that in this situation as well to maximize touch of the magi damage. And then we go into a conserve phase until we start back from square one. Square one will be the, again, going hard with your touch of the magi, your palm, your AP. Okay, so let's actually uh, use that in action here. So hard open, palm, touch of the magi, AP, blast, 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 blast. We're just gonna keep smacking that damage out. We get a clear cast proc, we do use the clear cast proc. We're waiting for our arcane power to go down. We have five seconds here. We use our clear cast proc, it's down, we drop a rune, and we go right back into more damage. Now you do not need to use orb right now. Orb is a DPS drop. It does less damage than arcane blast and is not worth casting in single target situations. So we're draining our mana. We are out of mana. We dump, we orb, we evocate. We get all of our mana back. We shifting power. We orb again, we barrage, rune of power, touch of the magi, palm, on use trinket, secondary on use trinket, and then we go back into another mini go here, and we're gonna go as long as we have this rune down. Okay, our rune is down. Now we're going into our conserve phase. And now it's essentially just a traditional conserve. You get up to four charges, you hit one, you dump, and then you go back. Now at this point, you can kind of see right here, we have 40 seconds left, we have 40 seconds left. Absolutely perfect timing, right? So we're going to be able to have presence of mind up, we're gonna be able to have our racial back up, we'll have our full arcane power go, because we are, if you are an orc, you have to hold your arcane power for your racial. That will, it's such a huge DPS. I know you're missing out on 15 seconds of cooldown, but it's worth it. It's worth it every time. If you're not an orc, once you get uh, your palm back up, then you just go anyways, right? So this kind of timing works out perfectly. And then you just go repeat the exact same cycle you did. 
Note how my secondary on use trinket will be back. I'll have evocate back up. I'm going to have all of these available to use. And that is essentially the perfect single target rotation. And you're just going back into that every single time. Now, there are situations where you may want to extend uh, your burn phase as long as you possibly can. I think of examples like uh, on Mythic Plus, where if you are you have pride, you have lust, you have all of these major cooldowns, and you're going to have a really long burn phase because of pride making your mana regen so high, and you can even extend that further. This would be when you'd want to use your mana gems to extend that burst phase out. Or if, say, this is a raid fight and you've got the warp Lego, you have that additional 45 seconds, you want to extend that burn phase as much as possible. So that is when you'll weave in your mana gem during that uh, burn phase after your AP when you have that secondary rune down and you're, uh, you're building that secondary damage cycle. That is when you'll want to extend with your mana gem, okay? Once you get into that conserve phase, make sure you're keeping that mana pool around 50%, and then you'll maximize that AP go into your next cycle, and you'll be able to have uh, a perfect rotation every single time. And as we can see here, you know, I just kind of, you know, screwing around, casual 4.1k DPS, uh, and this is without using gem, this is with no buffs at all. It was just a very relaxed rotation. Uh, it can be pushed much higher, obviously, if you have buffs, if you have pots, flasks, runes, all of that good stuff. I want to thank everyone for watching. Please, if you haven't, sub to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, and, of course, like every video. And uh, give me comments if you have any other questions regarding single target rotation. I'd be happy to answer them. Everyone have a great day. Thank you for coming to the study.